Wide receivers came off the board in record numbers in the first round of 2004. Roy, you may be part of eight wide receivers, seven, eight wide receivers that go in the first round. What's your thought as your position may dominate this draft? Well, the wide receivers are really good in this draft, and uh, hopefully in five or six years we'll be compared to the greatest. There were seven receivers taken in the first round. Larry Fitzgerald at three, Roy Williams was seven, Reggie Williams at nine, Lee Evans at 13, Michael Clayton at 15, Mike Jenkins was 29, and Rashawn Woods. <laughs> Jesus, is that awful. That's awful. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. In contrast, Wes Welker went undrafted in 2004. But with the exception of Larry Fitzgerald, has more receptions, yards, and touchdowns than any of the other first-round receivers. And Simmons throwing to the end zone. Touchdown, Wes Welker! Despite a productive college career, Welker was not among the 32 wide receivers who heard their names called during the draft, one of whom was his own teammate. I thought maybe there might be a possibility in late rounds that I might get picked, and it never happened. It was a little disappointing. And then the phone calls started coming after that, and basically I was going to San Diego. Welker signed with the San Diego Chargers as an undrafted free agent. I remember just making plays in that training camp and some of those uh, preseason games that I'm still kind of shaking my head about. Welker, touchdown! Good effort for the rookie out of Texas Tech. Welker made the Chargers opening day roster and returned five kickoffs in their week one game at Houston. After the game, he was cut. I mean, I was shocked when Coach Schoenheimer brought me in and he's like, all right, well, we're gonna release you. <laughs> you know, we want you to be on practice squad. And I was just kind of like, ah, oh, man, it kind of hurt me and felt like I deserved to be on that team. Following his release by the Chargers, Welker signed with the Dolphins, where he spent three seasons primarily as a third receiver and kick returner. Welker slips one tackle. He's to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown! In 2007, the Patriots traded second and seventh round picks for Welker. In today's NFL, really good quarterbacks learn to value slot receivers. Get open, Wes. And that's what Tom Brady had with Wes Welker. You get open. So that was a marriage made in heaven. From 2007 to 2012, Tom Brady, a six-round pick, and the undrafted Welker combined for more receptions than any other passing combo. I think what Tom and I did in New England kind of shows that the draft can be overrated. You see this freakish athlete, and you, you got to go with it. So I, I get it, but at the same time, it's just hard to measure, you know, somebody's heart and work ethic and what they put into it. He's not big enough, he's not strong enough, he's not fast enough, but he continues to astound. I've created so many habits from that snub and from being overlooked and understanding that I have to outwork the guy next to me 10 times how he works. And I think that's really just stuck with me through my whole career. As much as I wish I would have gotten drafted, I'm proud of the fact that I took the long road to get here and it's made the journey that much more fun and fulfilling for me.